Welcome back to Dunkirk Dunes. Now this is U.S.-China turn four. So U.S. is now fully in the war. And uh, here's what we're doing. So U.S. had 79 to spend. And I've already spent seven on it on my tech, uh, which I got, which you can see there is heavy bombers. We're going to use that this turn. Um, so then I had another 72 I could spend, and I'm going to spend 71 of it on two destroyers, a sub, three transports, two tanks, an artillery, and then four infantry. That comes up to 71. China had six to spend. They're going to buy two infantry. So I'm going to spend all of this except for I'm going to have one left over put right there okay so we got a lot to do <laughs> <clears throat> so combat moves um, we'll save the best for last so this um, transport here in 70 what is that 39 um, he's taking his two guys he's going over into C zone 80, and he's going to drop off in Iraq and claim that in the name of the United States. Okay. Uh, other combats here. So we're going to take a crack at this here. So the cruiser and the sub are going to go one, two, three into C zone 43. See if we can take out that transport and destroyer. And then, in addition to that, these two destroyers and the submarine are just going to go one, two, over here to see zone 37 to see if we can at least take out some of that. Uh, this fighter here in Guam, he's leaving from an airbase. He's going to go one, two, three, where he'll hit that air transport. He'll have two left, and he can land in Hope. That's what he's going to do. Okay. And then let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to put another marker there to remind me. That's China stuff. Okay. Then for the, the most interesting of all, um, okay, so Chaplin did put a destroyer here as a blocker in C zone 16. Um, we're gonna clear that naval blockade. We need to send in three ships to do that. So here from C zone 25, we're gonna send a carrier, a destroyer, and a cruiser. Okay. And then we're also going to send this fighter here from Western U.S., leaving from an airbase. One, two, three, four, five. Um, assuming he survives, he'd be able to land on that carrier. Okay. Um, so that takes care of those. Now, assuming that blockade gets cleared, then this other task force here, which is a battleship, um, three transports, and a carrier. And I need the battleship because I need a warship with an attack value to be able to escort those transports. So assuming we clear 16, what's going to happen is this battle group here is going to load up with the tank, the two artillery, and three infantry. And they're going to sail here into 6A. And from there, they're going to land and take a crack at Tokyo. We'll see if this works. Um, it should be close. It should be close. Um, in addition to that, I have my three heavy bombers here on Midway Island with an airbase. And so in addition to these units here that are on the sea transports, 
I've got four other infantry there on the island. So those four are going to land, load up on two of the air transports, and they will be dropping into Tokyo. And then the one remaining heavy bomber will just be a heavy bomber, um, dropping bombs on Tokyo. So, and, and they can land, they have a variety of places they can land because it's one, two, three, four into Japan, five back into the sea zone, six, and then seven. They can either go here, here, or here. So they can land in Amur, Siberia, or Soviet Far East. They can land in any of those. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so let's see. I think the rest of everything over here is actually just non-combat stuff. So I don't really need to mess with that yet. I think I've got it all marked, but I think it's all non-combat. So let's go ahead and do some of this stuff here. Maybe we'll start with the little stuff. So let's do, let's do, uh, well, let's do the auto kill first. So this air transport here is gonna be dead. And I'm just going to go ahead already and land this fighter in Hope so I don't forget. Um, that's the only place really where he could land. Okay. Um, and this air transport there from Shanghai is kaput. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do C Zone 43. So I've got a submarine at 2 and a cruiser at three. Okay, cruiser and a submarine, so a two and a three. It's gonna be against a two, because there's a destroyer there. Okay, I got double hits, okay. But the, the uh, destroyer does get to defend. Okay, he also got a hit. Okay, so I think I'm gonna lose you know, I might... There is a destroyer here. He can get there. Can't he? One, two... Yeah, he can get there. So I think what I'm going to take is the sub as my casualty. And I hit both of those guys. They're gone. Um... Cruiser is going to survive there, at least for now. Okay. Um, then let's go ahead and do this C Zone 37. So here I've got two destroyers and a submarine. So that's three twos. And in defense, there's going to be a submarine at one and then two destroyers at two. Let's see. Okay, I got one hit. Okay. So I got one hit. I assume what you're going to take first is that submarine. Um, so then you're going to defend with two destroyers, and your sub gets to roll. Okay, they're all misses. Lucky for me. Okay, so I still have I still have my three at two. Okay, I got another hit. Okay, so that's going to be another destroyer off of there, but he does get to roll back, so two destroyers now. They both missed. Okay, so now I've got, I didn't do it last time, but I, it, it's okay. Um, I'm going to do my, this is my submarine surprise strike. This is what I forgot to do before, but it's okay. So the sub missed, but then the two destroyers get to fire. They also missed. Here's the defending destroyer. He got a hit. Okay, so I'm gonna let him hit one of my destroyers actually. Okay, so now I've got, here's my submarine. No, my sub doesn't get a surprise strike, dummy. 
I can roll them both together. Okay, so here's my here's my chew it chew. Still missing. Okay, here's the chew defending. Missed. Okay, I've got chew it chew. I got the hit. Okay, and here's the defender. You missed. Okay, so that one is off. Okay, so we've cleared both of those C zones. That's pretty good so far. Okay, now for what we've all been waiting for. So first we got to clear the C zone 16. So what I've got here, I've got a fighter, that's at three, and I've got a cruiser, that's at three, and I've got a destroyer, that's at two, okay, and I just need to get a hit on that destroyer. I missed everything, okay. Here's the destroyer. He missed. Okay, we're going to do it again. So, here's the attacker. Okay, we finally got, got a lot of hits. Okay, so that destroyer is sunk, but he gets to fire back. Okay, he missed. Okay, so that Japanese destroyer is going to come off. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and land that plane right now on that carrier there. That's where he had to land. He didn't have any gas left. Okay, so now... Now, now, now... <clears throat> I, I didn't mention it before, but I hope you'll let me do this. I certainly intended to and have all this marked. But the one of these fighters and the tactical bomber, um, they can also get there. They have to land on this carrier because it's, uh, it, it, depending on which one it was, but if they were the ones that leaving from, let's do it this way. Let's say they're the ones leaving from the Midway Air Base. Um, so they go one, two, three, four. They have to land on the carrier here in 6A. So everything that's coming through that blockade here is we've got our three transports. We've got the fighter and the tactical bomber. And then we've got, actually I have all the Japanese stuff set up here on the battle board. So I'm going to go ahead and set up what's coming in on the battle board. So we have three infantry. We have two artillery. Two of the artillery are going to get bumped up to twos. We have a tank at three. And then we have one heavy bomber is going to be dropping four dice at two. And then we also have these other air transport heavy bombers coming in that are just bringing in these remaining four guys. So they're all going to be at ones. Okay. Um, there's the battleship that gets one bombard shot at a four. Okay, but of course first we're gonna have AAA fire. So let me put these planes on here too. So we've got the one fighter at three, we've got the tactical bomber at a four. Okay, because he's paired either with the fighter or the tank. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five planes. So that's going to be five AAA. And I'm hoping that this is not a disaster, but we'll see. I'm shaking. I can't hold the camera. <laughs> okay, there is one hit. Okay, so I think what I'm going to take with that one hit is I'm going to take the one heavy bomber that was actually a heavy bomber, not the air transport ones. Okay. So he is out, but the rest of this is in. So 
here's what we've got. So I have five infantry. No, that's not right. Yeah, that is right. I've got five at one. Yep, so five infantry at one. So one, two, three, four, five at one. And then I've got one, two, three, four at two. And then I've got two at three. And I'm just doing combined arms with my tactical bomber. Um, couldn't do it otherwise anyway. There's triple A fire. Okay, so he's got one at four. And then the battleship gets one round also at four. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I've got thirteen dice. Let's just, I'm not rolling here. I just want to count and make sure I've got the right number of dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. That seems right. Okay. Now let's roll it for real. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a hit. If, if you saw, it flipped over. Um, that's nine. I, I will double check on the video, but I believe that was a hit. Um, so that's nine hits, if we've counted right. So what you're going to have is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so that only leaves two defending Japanese, but the Japanese are going to get to fire back. So they've got seven infantry, two, three, four, five, six, seven infantry, and the bomber. Okay, so here's the defense. Okay, they've got four hits there. So I'm going to go ahead and take out four of the infantry that have been hit. And all of this stuff is gone. Okay. Um, okay. So, this is looking really good. Okay, so now I have one at one. I still have my four at four. Two, three, four. I've got my two at three. Uh, the battleship comes off. The attack is on. Okay, I just need two. Okay, I got the two. That's it. I got the two. So, two hits. They do get to fire back. The two defending Japanese. There we go. Okay, they got another hit. So I will lose another infantry. Um, so that's it. So that is, I have taken Tokyo um, with a tank, two artillery, and two infantry still left. Now these two planes here, You'll notice I had the fuel marker there from the start. Um, they have to land here. Okay, on the carrier in 6A. Um, okay, now to figure out where I want to land these two air transports that were involved in the Tokyo battle. Now, this does not mean that the game is over. Um, Chaplin can take Tokyo back, and he probably will. He's got two transports there. He's got battleships. He's got a loaded carrier. He's got a cruiser. He's got all kinds of stuff. Um, but this will be a blow to him, for sure. Um, so I think, I think what I'm going to want to do is I want to... I want to land these as far away from him as I can get. <laughs> um, so 
I think I'm gonna land them up in Soviet Far East, okay? And again, I'll count that out. So they left from Midway Air Base. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now the other thing, I have. Um, we have these three fighters here that started in the C zone. Okay. And what they are going to do is they can go four. They're going to go one, two, three, four. They are also going to go up and land in Soviet Far East. And I can grab some flight stands for them. Actually, I have, I have some right here. Okay, so there they are. Uh, wow. Makes me nervous. <laughs> but it worked out. It worked out. Um, okay. Let's do some non-combats. Um, this guy here in San Francisco, he is going to get on the railroad. And he's going to go over here. I'm actually, he's going to end up in Eastern or Central, but before I do that, so I don't get him mixed up with the other guys that are moving out, I'm just going to kind of set him right here for now. So these two transports are going to go one, two, three, down into 91, and I'm going to bring two infantry, an anti-aircraft gun, and two mechanized infantry, these four units, and they are all landing in Gibraltar. Okay, so that's that. Uh, these, let's see, this heavy bomber in central US, so because it's a heavy bomber, it can load a mechanized infantry and an infantry. And I better grab a air transport marker here. Um, he's gonna end up in Scotland, so. He's going to go like this, 1 in 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He can only go 6 because he has no air base, but he's fine. He can still get to where I wanted him to get. And then these other two, um, one of them is going to be an air transport and take this mechanized infantry and he's going to go to London, and he's going to bring that mech with him. So he is also an air transport. Here's my air transport marker. Let's put that back on there. This guy, he doesn't have anything to carry, but he's also just going to London. Okay, that takes care of that. The uh, guys that have been on vacation here in Greenland. They're coming back down. Coming down to 106. And they're going to bring these guys with them. We'll drop them off here in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. Okay. And then here's the guy that we were railing before. There he is. Now he's in eastern U.S. Okay. Um, so, I think we have now moved everything. Let's go ahead and place some units. So, um, the only thing that's going in the west are these two infantry. Um, all of this other stuff. So, the three transports are going to go into 101. That's in the frame. The two destroyers, those are going into 101. The sub, 101. And it doesn't really matter. I could have built those off the central or the eastern factory. Um, but all this other stuff. So, two tanks, two more infantry, 
and artillery. I'm going to build all that in Eastern. So there we go. Um, that's that's basically it. Um, I I think I've got Chaplin's money right here. Um, I have him at fifty. I believe that's what he had on hand. Um, so U.S. is going to take that. Um, thank you very much. We're going to take that fifty from Japan. And then we're also going to collect our own income. So first we need to that Iraq. That's worth two. So I'm going back up to 52. Nobody goes down. Um, and then bonuses. So I've got Alaska, Aleutians, Hawaii, Johnston, Line Islands. I've got Mexico, Southeast Mexico, Central U.S., West Indies. And then I did, I did build two in the east and two in the west. So I'm going to get a bonus of tw uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, um, plus the 52. So that's 72, plus the one that I carried over. Um, so let me just go ahead and grab the 72 I just earned. So here's, here's 40, 50, 60. 70, 1, 2, here's the 1 I carried over, 73, here's the 50 I just took from Japan, um, 73, I can't count, there's 103, I think it's 123, I think that's what US has to spend next turn, is 123. Like I said, this does not mean that the game is over. Um, it is definitely a setback for Chaplin, but the game is not over. He can take that back, and I think he's likely to take that back. Um, let me go ahead and do disposition of forces. So, in San Francisco, I have two infantry and two anti-aircraft guns. In Soviet Far East, I have three fighters and two air transports. In C-Zone 16, I have a carrier with a fighter on it. I've got a cruiser and a destroyer. C-Zone 6A, I've got three transports, a battleship, and I've got a carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber on it. Um, you know what? I didn't go up eight. Let me finish this, and then we'll do that. So, on Japan itself, I have two infantry, two artillery, and a tank. Um, C-Zone 43, I've got a cruiser. C-Zone 37, there's no more convoy there. Uh, there's a submarine and a destroyer. C-Zone 80, there is a transport. Iraq, there are two infantry. Uh, in Gibraltar, there are two infantry... I did that wrong. I can't bring... <laughs> you can see there. I can't have brought this with me. Um, this this other mech, if it's okay with you guys, what he, would, what he was going to do is go on this other, which would make him now an air transport. If not, it's okay. I'll just put him back in eastern U.S., but uh, what that would be is he would end up there, because I, I could only bring four ground units here, so two infantry, the mech, and the anti-aircraft gun. Uh, C-Zone 91, two transports. Uh, London, I've got two air transports and the two mechanized infantry. That's the maximum I could airdrop in there anyway, is two. Scotland, another air transport and a mechanized infantry, and a regular infantry. Uh, New Brunswick, there's an infantry and an artillery. C-Zone 106, there's a transport and a cruiser. Uh, C-Zone 101, there are three transports, two destroyers, and a submarine. Let's make sure, yes. Uh, Eastern US, there are three infantry, two tanks, one artillery, one anti-aircraft gun. 
Okay, and I mentioned I had neglected to put my marker on Tokyo, which is worth eight. So Japan would go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have them on 36. US would go up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would put them on 60. So I would collect another eight. I didn't include that in my total. Seven, eight. Okay, so I think that's 123 plus eight. I think that's 131, I believe. Um, now quickly for Japan, not Japan, China. So China bought these two infantry and they only had, there's no rolling for them to do, but um, they were gonna go, one cavalry was gonna blitz into Jehol and the tank was going to blitz, well, he doesn't really need to blitz because the, caval the cavalry already did it, but he's going to go the same through Chahar, okay? And then all these other guys are just going to march into Hopei, flying tigers coming down into Hopei. I've had Hopei so I can land my plane there. So that's two more taken away from Japan. So down to 34, China goes up two more. They're at six. Um, that's basically it for China. Disposition of forces for China. They have one cavalry and Jehol. I'm gonna leave that infantry there, I think in Kansu. And then in Hopei, I've got eight. Well, let me place my two. So I've got two new infantry. And I think I'm going to go ahead and place them. I can place them in a place I just took. I'm going to put them in Jehol. Um, so now, disposition, I've got two infantry in Jehol, one cavalry in Jehol, one infantry in Kansu, eight infantry in Hopei, one artillery in Hopei, one Chinese light tank in Hopei, flying tigers in Hopei, along with a U.S. fighter. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I think we've done everything we need to do. It'll be interesting to see what the Axis do next. The game is not over. It's just a setback. Thanks for watching. Bye.